makes the SA Water Library unique? Things like these parts of the collection. Um, so these photographs don't exist anywhere else. And um, also some of the heritage objects that we have. Okay, so we have instruments, um, surveying instruments, for example, made out of brass from the 1800s. Um, we've got in excess of 1300 objects which are housed across the state in various locations. Uh, and yeah, some of them are fascinating. We have uh, the Berry Office, for example, comes to mind because um, someone's wanting to use some of those objects at the moment. Uh, the Berry Office has on display some objects, including a full diving outfit from, the, from 1922 or thereabouts, when they were constructing the locks. And here's on the River Murray and it, it looks it looks like a space suit, a moon suit, and it has a full you know, helmet and a huge big uh, padlock on a chain. So it was weighted so that that would hold the diver down under the water. And the only way that they could get back up was by a rope tied around their waist that a man on the shore was holding or up on the deck. And they would pull them up afterwards. So, um, the Berry tourist, tourist, tourist Office is looking at doing a display and wanting to use that suit as part of their display. That's very interesting, Hayley. And I imagine those sort of objects also have a whole social, you know, there's a social commentary, a social history um, to connected mm. with them. Yeah. And obviously in that particular case, Ock Health and Safety was not um, really foremost in people's mind. And that was something that... Um, the predecessor department of SA Water staff would have been using in 1922. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. And there's another example here. This is Happy Valley Reservoir, the construction. So constructing the outlet tower. So if you can just zoom in and have a look at that. So, uh, sorry, I'll go to the next page. It's a bit easier to see. Okay, so we have scaffolding all around the tower that's being constructed. But there's no safety harnesses, there's not even a rope <laughs> to hold the guys there. And you can see a guy up along here just kind of very casually leaning back. No I'm hard hats. To come in a bit closer yeah. so that viewers can see. There's the gentleman casually leaning against the rail. I'm not quite sure how many metres up he is, but it would be a considerable yeah. height. So you compare that today with all of our safety equipment and procedures and yeah, very different world. And what time period do you think this photograph is from of the Happy Valley Waterworks? Uh, the date, exact date escapes me, but it's in the late 1800s. Wow, that's fantastic.